Hello friends, in my this video, I am going to discuss about hygrometer. This is very important sensor. So what the hygrometer does? So hygrometer uses for measuring the humidity present in the surrounding environment. That means in air or somewhere, if you want to measure the humidity, then we use this hygrometer sensor. And what is humidity? You all know the term humidity means the amount of water vapor present in the gas okay like in air in the surrounding air how much amount of air, uh, water vapor is present that is denoted by humidity okay now let us discuss how we can measure the humidity of our surrounding environment for that we can use capacitive sensor see uh, I hope uh, from the basic concept of capacitive sensor you can clearly identify how we can use capacitive sensor to determine the humidity see here this plate and the uh, plate is basically conductive plates of the two parallel plates two plates of the parallel plate capacitor and here we are applying positive voltage here we are applying negative voltage now in between two parallel plate there is dielectric and dielectric material suppose it can absorb the humidity if it can absorb the humidity then the epsilon r that is relative permittivity of the space in between two parallel plate will change and we know the capacitance formula for two parallel plate capacitor is c is equal to epsilon naught epsilon r a by d that means we can say that is the capacitance of the parallel plate is proportional to epsilon r so as the epsilon r of the dielectric in between two parallel plates two parallel conducting plates changes because of absorption of the humidity what will happen the capacitance value of the parallel plate capacitor will also change and we can easily measure the capacitance value by bridges okay so now this is the working principle of capacitive hygrometer now to measure the humidity we can also use resistive sensors okay so resistive type hygrometer see what is that this is the basic schematic of the resistive type hygrometer see this is the metal contact i will explain uh, this is the layer of moisture sensitive material and this is the substrate okay so first of all what happens here substrate is there on the substrate we place a layer of the moisture sensitive material then we place this pattern of metal contact in this okay see the metal contact pat pattern that is basic basically looks like this it basically looks like this so basically see the two metal uh, electrodes you can say or two metal uh, electrodes basically are not connected so to connect or to conduct electricity what we have to do we have to uh, place the conductive material uh, which can be act like electrolyte for liquid case so we have to place some conductive material in between the metal electrodes okay so this the conductive uh, substance in between two electrodes is basically this one that is which is moisture sensitive material now suppose it is present then obviously this will conduct electricity suppose you placed uh, you give a positive terminal of the voltage source here in this electrode and you give negative terminal of the voltage source in the uh, downside electrode okay then obviously it will conduct because in between two electrodes there is electrolyte which is basically a uh, layer of moisture moisture sensitive material now see uh, this is the basic working principle of resistive type hygrometer so basically the if you configure or make this whole structure you will get uh, the top view like this this is electrode one the upper one and the lower one is the electrode 2 now in between two electrodes one layer of moisture sensitive material is placed which is lithium chloride see when you place this over this basically this is placed over this substrate then this electrode is placed over this then obviously you will get this structure so if uh, suppose the 
moisture sensitive material absorbs the humidity what will happen the resistance will decrease clear so this is clear from the basic concept that is if some moisture sensitive material or substance absorbs humidity then obviously its resistance decreases and if uh, in dry weather in case of dry weather the resistance increases this is basic concept so basically if the moisture sensitive material in between two electrode absorb the humidity uh, absorb the uh, moisture vapor water vapor or moisture which is present in the uh, air or surrounding environment obviously the resistance in between the uh, electrodes will decrease and as resistance decreases the conductivity of this system will increase and we can easily measure the conductivity or we can easily measure the resistance of this system by Wheaton bridge or something some other things okay there are lots of things to measure the change in resistance that does not matter so this is how resistive type hygrometer works now one example of the moisture sensitive material is here i have shown lithium chloride okay why lithium chloride see the lithium chloride is basically lical okay now see lical means obviously this is ionic compound and li plus plus cl minus will uh, attract each other by coulombic attraction force and it will make the LiCl compound. Now see LiCl is the smallest among all alkali metal ions. Okay. So as the size of the Li plus is very small so that what will happen it has high charge density. This ion has high charge density so that it can attract the water molecule because water molecule is H2O covalent bond but polarized because oxygen has higher electronegativity than the hydrogen so oxygen will be del minus hydrogen are del plus and del plus so what will happen this negative uh, this partially negative oxygen will be attracted by the Li plus ion because it has high positive charge density and oxygen has here negative charge density so it will attract so basically for this reason LiCl can absorb moisture it can form hydrates okay the uh, hydrate formula is LiCl 3H2O clear so in this way I hope it is clear that why LiCl can absorb moisture so we can place LiCl in between these two electrodes to determine the moisture content of the surrounding environment okay so in this way resistive type hygrometer works i hope the working principle is clear to you if you have any doubts you can ask in comment section and for more videos please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon thank you for watching